good. So I'm going to come over to the other side as well. So I'm just going to stroke down the neck. And I want to talk about the day of going into the vulnerable areas. And he talks about going up here where the cats go and going where, down here where the dogs go, meaning, of course, wild cats and dogs. But I had a lady on my course once from Germany, and I said, and you go up here where the cats go. And she said, what do you mean? My cats go by the radiator. <laughs> what are you talking about? So, he's a little bit um, sensitive on his back here, so I'm just going to stay with it. It's so important the health causes back. It would be extremely unlikely that he would have a sore back and he's never had a sound on. But I'm just testing. And what you just do is you just do firm finger pressure either side of the spine. It's not the same as when you did nails in, which is deliberately to get them to arc down. I'm just going to stroke here. And a shiatsu teacher told me once, Pamela Hanny, that every compassionate hand is healing hand. And I just think that's such a nice thought. And she talked about stroking, um, stroking all over. Um, wonderful. That's really good. So I feel a bit better now about putting the sandal on with my point of signal. It's genuinely honest, so it's going to be to position. And that's, that's normal. And I'm just going to see if I can keep it for up. Just as a token of it, a token offering. Can you see? Can you take that for us? Very good. No shoes on. And which is good. Really? At this stage. And this is my carrier all these bits. I'll just speak up this way. He said it's less painful to be kicked in the back of the knees than the front. I don't really want to know either. Which way is less painful? More painful? But I say it's better to be cautious. I'm just kind of here just to see. I'll just squeeze the hole if you can. That's it. That's just way of going. Right down to their feet to be safe. Okay. Coco. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other side of the pen. And Rose Jones is going to bring the tack in. And Rosie is going to be on what not to wear. <laughs> she looked perfectly well dressed to me. I think she looked very good. But apparently, I would say that they all have a friend on the Navy. That but is quite easy to get two thousand pounds of new clothes. She's gonna take them all, sell them on eBay, buy packages. <laughs> That's her love. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is see how Coco is with the cat, and he's had a little look at various things around the outside of the pen, which is what I understand. And he's looking a bit turned at the moment, aren't you? So I'll just see if he will stay with me, or if I just wait on me and I can get the connection again. Good, so let's come round. Let's walk round here. I'll come, I'll come to here and encourage him to have a look actually. She's dead, but I'll be Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Nice to meet you. I told you to get you. That's it. You can kind of pull them back. I mean, there are some horses that get switched off if you try and use body language. But I guess that's how you have been to France with your school French. And you start talking to a French person. And after about a minute, they start speaking English with you. Or they just rather more pop, which you really can't blame them. Um, and you know, some horses, it takes them a while to think, oh, maybe humans are intelligent after all. It's just a flicker of light. Go on to them. I'm going to come here. I'm going to let you have a look at that. So I was in our middle of one to do a demonstration. Now here's a tip. If there's anyone at RSU, I remember what I'm saying. Here's a tip. If you ever offer a horse from a while, if you're 20 years old, but they haven't had time to break it in, be afraid. <laughs> be very afraid. And so, so we had a gorgeous horse was starting, 40 years old, oh, we've never got round, never had sat on, we never got round to doing anything with it. And what I found strange, why would the horse be so terrified of a saddle in that case? And I was trying to get it near him, and I've got a few tricks, and one is, you go in and you come out, and you go in and you come out, kind of a garden retreat, and you sit it on, did the massage in. The other one is, you put it on their neck, because they usually not sit right, and go down. There was, there was 
nowhere else to get, get in the ocean neck. And I was just thinking, I'm a child here. And then I remember to teach this stuff, to teach all psychology courses, where you, you learn that all you need to learn from both sides. And that can be good or bad. Because the horse had obviously had a real fight, having the saddle on from the near side, but it had never from the off side. So I just went to the other side, put the saddle on, could have stopped. Because he, he'd never been fighting by it. And then we went on kind of a royal week. We went on to riding that night and he was great. But it's just so interesting how they learn and how we can make things difficult or easy for ourselves. Now what I do with the breast here, because one thing I least want to happen is for the um, the saddle to slip back. And can you see how uh, yes. I put the breast up on a little bit of the bottom there so that if I don't get the saddle on cotton break. <laughs> the cotton break. But if, but I've got the pressure in just the right place that I want it, once I have got the good done up. And as I say, he's, he's entitled to be I've got the rubber bands on here just so that it fits quickly. I've got that girl on, I've got the breast shirt on, now I've got all this good. I don't want to be messing around going on the other side of it and doing all that. But I'll just get that there. And now I'm just work on getting this girl up a bit tighter. Okay. It wasn't the sound Thank you. 